So over the past couple of days and even for the past few months, I've kind of talked about a lot of the AI services I've been using, like to do right for coming up with stories, as well as you know Luma AI for you know video and everything. And then, of course, recently I've talked about Cling and Runaway. Now Runaway, I you know I was on before. I just didn't realize when I was on it. Um, and I think that was about a year ago. Or so. And ever since then, they've added in the video portion, which basically allows you to uh, create videos either using images or text. And it all depends on what generation you're using. If you're using, if you're using the new Gen, the Gen 3 Turbo, it's only image. They haven't incorporated text yet, you know, or text only. Uh, but if you're using Gen 3 Alpha and Gen 2, then text is all right. But if it's Gen 3 Turbo, it's uh, image and image and text together. It's not text only yet. I think they still got to work on that. Um, but when it comes to cling, when it comes to cling, which will be the one I'm going to talk about the most here, um, like I said in the audio videos, uh, which you can also just listen to in audio format uh, to various podcast locations like Spotify and iHeartRadio and all that. The links will be in the description to those. Uh, to those places where you can also listen to my content and even watch it, depending uh, on what service you use. Uh, I, I said in the most recent audio video that Kling has a slight itsy bitsy advantage, you know, over Luma and Runaway. Now, the one thing that Kling and Runaway do have in common is that they do kind of help you out in letting you know how to, you know, get the most out of your prompt. And I think Luma does something to that extent as well. But you get it more prevalently with um, Runaway and Cling. Um, so that, that's kind of a helpful tool, you know, in itself. It's a helpful tool in itself. But, you know, when I look at, when I look at Cling and everything, and the reason I say it has an itty bitty advantage over the other two is because of the fact that even if you uh, copy and paste, you know, your det copy and paste your description in the prompt, and put it in between parentheses to emphasize this is what you want, most of the time, 65% to 75%, oh, not 65%, but 65, okay, 65% to 70% of the time, it will give you what you're asking for. 65% to 70% 70, uh, 70 of the time, it will give you what you're asking for, which I think is great. Now, is it perfect? No, because sometimes it will kind of go off and do its own thing, just like Luma, just like Runaway, it will do its own thing. You know, so you got to be kind of, you know, strategic and specific in what you want. And one of the things I have learned, and believe it or not, I've learned it more now with Kling, you know, and even Runaway uh, than I have with Luma or Sudo Write. Um, the one thing I've learned is the fact that when you want to emphasize something, it doesn't have to be copy and paste of your description of what you want in the prompt, uh, that you put in the prompt, I should say. Instead, it could be, you know, just a, you know, emphasizing, you know, like what you want to see in that image. Like, for example, if I say, uh, if I say in the prompt, hey, um, animate this image and then have uh, Elsa's dress sparkling and then have that little snowflake sparkling in the background, you know, um, I'll probably 65% to 70% of the time get what I'm asking for, which I appreciate. I really appreciate when that happens. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I was um, testing out some of the images I downloaded through DeviantArt, like through, you know, from Mr. Internet Man, um, Luma would give me kind of what I asked for as well. Even if I copy and pasted, you know, the description and, made, and put it between the parentheses and emphasize I want this to be this way. Um, even without doing that and everything, when I say animate this scene and then I put in the parentheses, they're fusing together or they're doing this or doing that, most of the time, surprisingly, I'm going to get what I'm asking for. I mean, for example, uh, Luma did the same thing. They did a good job with it as well. But I have to say, if I was to, well, I can't really judge because it's almost, almost even. But Luma basically gave me two different, you know, I would say acceptable, believable versions of Mr. Internet Man's characters of Demonica and Exotica who have the same powers to be able to shapeshift and all that. 
uh, basically becoming too, uh, late, uh, basically, you know, dressing themselves up as Catwoman from like the, um, you know, the 1992 B Tim Burton movie, and then fusing together into one. And the way Luma did it was great, but the way Clean did it was just as good uh, on both occasions, you know, on both occasions. So I thought that was, I thought that was cool to see. And, they, and it's even worked with the other like fusion little individual picks he puts out on Devon on, on his page because what he does is he does like these little comic strips you know little comic strips and everything of his character along with another character or his character on its own on her own I should say uh, basically you know becoming different things melting down and all that and what he does after he puts that one strip you know up, once he uploads that one strip on the Devon art he then you know uploads it individually about a day or two later and, you know, mainly what I've done is I've taken those individual uh, uploads and I've tried testing them out. And what I've gotten so far is, you know, from, well, from Luma, it's actually been pretty good. But from Kling, it's like, it's just, like I said earlier, it's just as good, if not probably a little bit better, you know, and a little bit more believable. Because when I look at it, I'm like, holy moly, you know, this is, this is nice. You know, this is nice. And I even did it. Um, yeah, I even did it, and I had to, you know, slightly alter the picture a little bit. But I even did it um, with the bottom of the first, with the bottom panel of the first uh, comic page of a commission I got from a friend of mine, you know, of of her OC character, her Fusoid, if you uh, Fusor, uh, Furzo, uh, persona, persona, I should say, fursona of her. Mobian persona, um, and uh, a friend of hers, uh, a wife's Mobian persona, cat persona, and I had requested from this friend um, months ago to have both of them fuse into one, make them both into slime, you know, slime Mobians characters, have them fuse into one, and they gave me exactly what I was asking for, and long story short. Long story short, uh, what happened? What happened mainly is, like I said, I like I did with Mr. Internet Man. I, you know, when I downloaded those images, I downloaded the pages that I felt could work. Right? I downloaded the pages that I felt, you know, could probably work. And lo and behold, uh, what I did is I edited them to where I could get like the last two panels. The last two panels right on both the first page and the last page where basically the fusion begins and it ends and just by using those two panels what I got was amazing what I got was amazing and everything um, it, it just blew my mind it just blew my mind because both versions of how they fused felt very natural on how it would happen in animation if it was animated to be like a, a, a an animated short or an animated 30 second short or whatever it was just really amazing i was like holy crap this is this is beautiful this is beautiful and everything so i kept trying it and i even tried it and i'm sure if i if youtube allows it i've even tried it with some of the uh, mobians.ai images that i've had generated of sally and and bunny and and, uh, and loop and so on and the an and the way they're animated because all I'm telling it is animate the scene and then in the parentheses I say okay po you know I'll say things I'll put words in there like posing and winking at you and from what I've got it's like holy moly it looks really really great really tremendous not perfect but you kind of get an idea of wow this is this is great to see to see your artwork you know, come to animated life in that manner. It just, it's just mind blowing, just really mind blowing. And that's why I, that's why, you know, cling to me, like I said in the audio video, uh, has a sneaky, bitsy, bitsy, tiny edge over Luma and Runaway, because although you could, you know, use the same practices on both of them and kind of get maybe similar results, maybe better in some cases, Kling seems to instantly get it 65 to uh, 75, 65% uh, to 70% of the time. So 
I'm really, I'm really happy, happy with that. Now Luma, you know, it does a good job. You know, there's no doubt Luma does a good job and you gotta be descriptive with it too. And again, what I've done with it is basically say, hey, you know, this is what I wanna see. And then I, in, in between the parentheses, I copy and paste what I say I wanna see into in between the parentheses to emphasize what I want. And sometimes I'll get it, sometimes I won't. But, but to me, I think with Kling, you're gonna get you know, what you want probably more so than you expect. And I really, and again, I gotta, and here's the thing, I gotta give a shout out to BM, uh, BFF of PAL Comics, that's P-A-L-C-O-M-I-X, uh, because they're the ones that introduced it to me, in, you know, inadvertently when they described, uh, when they put in the description of one of the inkbunny.net uh, uploads, uh, the program they used to bring one of the figurines from furry sculpture to life, you know, and having them dance. So I gotta give a shout out to them. But overall, even though it has an easy beat, um, um, uh, you know, advantage over the others. You know, I have to say, cling is. You know, I highly recommend trying cling for right now. Now, um, is it something you can you want to go to? Maybe not, because I think over time, if they don't upgrade themselves, Luma and Runaway may uh, surpass them uh, in the future. But I do recommend that if you want a 65 to 70 percent accuracy of what you're asking for. Um, you know, in your prompts and in your CGI video artwork and stuff, I recommend trying them out. And until next time, guys, I am out.